uh, Star Wars records. It's hard to keep up with all of them. You've got the biggest preview day ever, those 7 p.m. Thursday night showings, biggest Friday and biggest opening day ever with $120.5 million, biggest opening weekend in North America with $248 million, biggest opening weekend worldwide with $529 million, fastest sprint to $100 million, $200 million, $300 million, and now it will also put in its bank the fastest run to a billion dollars worldwide ever. No, you, the way you get to these numbers is repeat viewing. And in fact, the biggest record that I think Star Wars has in its sights is one that could come down the road in a, two or three months, which is the all-time worldwide box office record currently held by Avatar with $2.8 billion. Number two in that exclusive $2 billion club is Titanic. Both of those movies open in mid-December, same time frame as The Force Awakens. And now this movie, given the repeat viewing, given the fact of the outpouring of love from fans and critics alike, and the fact that it's just really a great movie and a terrific popcorn movie-going experience, this movie could become the highest grossing movie of all time worldwide. Why would you want to, like, movies are so expensive these days. Why would you want to spend them? Uh, it's there's the whole thing was a flashback to childhood. Just seeing the uh, letters scroll up, I had I was I had I had the lump. She connected me like x number of years back to dad. You know, it was my first movie that I would see him. He was reading the titles to me as they went by. I so know every, I mean, that's I'll, I'll probably get a hint of that like every time I ever see a Star Wars movie in the theater. So yes, I will might go to back to experience that again. What was it about it that you think worked for you? Why would you want to go see it again? I think to actually, because there's a lot of one-liner jokes and insider knowledge um, about um, the Star Wars and Return of the Jedi that is in this movie that you still need to see again to be able to pick up the storyline a bit more. So there's a lot of humour, which I thought was incredible, um, but I think it's one of those ones there's so much in the movie that you need to see it again to actually understand fully the other movies as well, but also just the humor in it, the one-liners. Yeah, people lined up, you know, this is the very definition of a blockbuster, where people are lined up around the block. In fact, people were lined up a week before, in some cases longer, just so they could have the bragging rights of being the first people to see the movie. Remember too, this is the first Star Wars in the era of social media. So if this movie had not been a good movie, people could have tweeted about that. Luckily for the for J.J. Abrams and his team, who did a spectacular job of creating just a perfect vision for what George Lucas had originally intended, the tweets and the Facebooking was universally and overwhelmingly positive for The Force Awakens. That set the stage for it to just keep rolling for multiple viewing for many, many people. Are, there's anecdotes about people going back two, three or more times, taking family members to see the film, and this is only going to increase over time and over the Christmas holiday weekend. Add to that that Disney did a perfect job marketing this movie by parsing out just the right amount of data, uh, imagery, news, trailers, using their collective Disney synergy, including ESPN Monday Night Football, to get the word out. We can't outrun them! We might! In that quad jumper! The film opens in China January 9. It's amazing that The Force Awakens was able to get the biggest opening weekend of all time worldwide without China even in the mix. So Disney is gonna get a second bite of the press apple when everyone's talking about even more records, perhaps a record could be set in China. So Hollywood now, we've been talking about hitting the $11 billion mark for years. It's never happened in North America at the box office. Total revenues now with help from Star Wars and of course other films out there, but really powered by Star Wars at the very end of the year, is pushing North American box office to a first time ever $11 billion plus payday and that's really good for the industry and it shows that going to the movie theater is still a very viable and essential pastime and people love going to the movies um, i think it's very true to the originals uh both stylistically and it's also very emotionally satisfying uh, i think compared to the prequels they were kind of a bit very cg heavy not very emotionally engaging this is completely the reverse it's made it's made by a total fanboy for fanboys and girls 
And those of us who've grown up loving Star Wars, this is the film for us to go and see again. And it gives you the same feeling that you had when you saw it before. And it's just, uh, in, in the only criticism I say is it's very much, it's almost in places too much of an uh, homage to the original. So I'm really looking forward to what they do next to move it on. But this is an absolutely perfect way to just reset expectations and say, you know, guys, it's all right. We know what we're doing. We've got this. You, you can trust.